All right, for those of you that uh, have been following me, this massive disaster zone used to be my outdoor kitchen. This is the inverted base for Al Jolson. Um, as you know, we had a bit of a fire that got into the base. Who knew wood and fire don't mix? Shocker. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, in this hole right here, I'm going to make a 5 foot by 5 foot square uh, base for the cob oven, which is going to have uh, concrete um, pavers. Let me walk over to it. That used to be in a patio project that I had, but I don't like it. So I'm going to use these pavers as the the legs for the new boom, boom, the new uh, cob oven. It's going to go right here. Um, so they're going to they're going to be the base, the legs, and then I'm going to add a concrete top to it, and then the cob oven itself. So we're looking at probably several thousand pounds of weight that needs to go on top of that. There's my my original experience with concrete and a concrete countertop. But again, we're just one giant mess. Well, as, as I've been off with my back, it's been, you know, a weekend project for, for most it takes me four months lately, so. But we're gonna try and get this done, but that's what it's gonna be. So any help that can be offered would be greatly appreciated. So again, five feet by five feet by, five, I guess, five and a half inches uh, deep. I'm hoping that'll be enough with my uh, Navi Jack mix and my Portland cement. So give us some thoughts there, kids.